The Postal series was heavily based on controversial topics with a view to make fun of them in any way the developers see fit, but they have they gone too far with Postal 4? Well, today we'll be looking into what went wrong with the overall reason why the game got such bad reviews. <laughs> Postal 4 No Regrets is a 2022 first-person shooter game developed and published by Running With Scissors. It was released on October 14th, 2019 from Microsoft Windows through Steam's Early Access program, a decision which was made to acquire public funding for the project and involve the postal community in the game's development process. Running With Scissors described the game as the true sequel to Postal 2, contrasting it with Postal 2's unsuccessful 2011 sequel, Postal 3, which was strongly panned by critics and players. Postal 4 was released on April 20th, 2022 to largely negative reception with multiple reviews criticising the game's performance, poor gameplay and dated humour. The game was released for PlayStation 4 and 5 on March 21st, 2023. Postal 4 borrows many of its gameplay features from its predecessor, Postal 2. The game is centred around different errands that the Postal Dude must complete each day, which includes being a prison guard, a sewer worker and an animal catcher on Monday, a variety of tasks from a gang for the south of the borderland on Tuesday. This goes on for a while, so we're just going to skip it. Working for the mayor of Edison on Wednesday... <laughs> I wanted to see if it was actually that bad, so I booted up the game and was shown an animated intro, which included toilet humour and a dog licking his balls. I am not making this up. Figures. The intro ends with his lovely home on wheels being stolen, so he must enter the city nearby to get work. Sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. The first mission of the game involves you finding a sign and a pen and writing that you need a job. Reminded me of Postal 2 when you had to go around asking people to sign a petition. Very simply said when it comes to actually doing, there was no tutorial. And I spent a good solid 10 minutes with no idea how to proceed. And had some very, very irritating lines of dialogue which repeated itself every time I tried to do something that wasn't available until the sign was written. I think I need something else to add a message here. After hearing this line at least 20 times, I started to get frustrated. After finally sorting the issue and getting the sign written, and it had such amazing humour behind it, I headed into town, showing my sign to people, and eventually got given a way to point to the job center. So I thought. After arriving near the waypoint, I realized it was on top of a cliff. And I just thought, fine, I'll find a way up there. In the process of doing so, I got myself stuck in an area of the game that I couldn't escape. So I had to game end myself to get out. Mildly infuriated, I kept searching for this job area, only to realise jobs were marked in green circles. Why didn't I get told this? I found the job place and headed in and got introduced to the well... <sighs> I'll let you watch and make your own opinion. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? Don't, don't, please. Ah, a new client. Come in, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belts a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. 
You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's staring into my soul? No, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then, I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down to other holes later. An associate Jesus is calling Christ. for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type. Being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean, the local correctional institution, is looking for, um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele, unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal qualities. <laughs> so, after this incredibly irritating character introduction, I pressed Alt F4 and haven't played it since. I could go on for hours about my opinion of the game, but why do that when others can give you their opinion? So here are some of the reviews of the Postal 4 on Steam and online. It's Postal 2, but less functional, and they forgot the funny. As someone who's a fan of Postal 2, this game is a massive disappointment. I gave Running With Scissors money back in this game's early access days in the hopes of fleshing this out and keeping them afloat, and ever since then I looked back at it and wished I could get my money back. To give you an idea of what I'm going on about, pretend this isn't Postal, pretend there isn't a Postal 4. Now look at this game from that perspective. You see nothing but an ugly, uninspired mess full of bugs ranging from performance issues, visual glitches, broken hit detection, etc. And it does not even stand out among the vast ocean of shovel warm on Steam. You know the ones, the soulless cash grabs with generic titles and laughably terrible box art that screams, we didn't even try. Now you look back at this. With all of that in mind, and you think to yourself, what separates this game from the rest of the landfill? Why did we give these guys a pass when all they did was produce this? Because we were too lenient. We went in with high expectations because Running With Scissors had delivered us Postal 2 on Steam and developed Paradise Lost as an apology for Postal 3. We were so happy, so grateful for all of that, that we gave them our money for them to develop a sequel to that. And what did they do in response? spit in our faces and deliver a terrible asset flip that is chock full of fails in game design. Let's take the game's map for instance, okay? So, they made it larger and additional scooters. Good enough. Except you still run at a slow pace and either the scooters nor the sprinting mechanics make the movement any less tedious. The overall map is empty and lacks any significant outside of the jobs you have to do. Sure, Civilians still mammed around and talk to each other, but that's it. Expecting any big meetups or events that happen independent of the player's actions, no dice. Everything only happens when the player, and just the player, does something. Everything feels artificial as a result. Running with scissors could have done something to spruce up the game world a bit. Moving cars and traffic? More hostile factions that attack the postal dude on site? 
but they couldn't do that because the performance concerns the world of Edson is just a static backdrop that doesn't react to the events of the game or even your presence. This isn't me slamming a game because, oh, it's offensive. Running with scissors failed at that, too, by the way. This is me expressing my disappointment and disillusionment at a game development company for becoming slothful and delivering a shoddy, uninspired mess of bugs and UE4 assets and calling it a day. Don't let Civ11 nor G-Man Lives fool you with their takes. Don't buy this game, even if you want to get it because of morbid curiosity or desire. Just leave this be and spend your money elsewhere. Just realise this game is actually out of early access. I hope they'd actually make it a good game until release. The world feels dead and is only way too big for what it is in it. NPC behaviour is basic that anybody can slap together in a week. Cops don't really do much. They don't even arrest you. Missions feel unpolished, story is really bad, it feels like running with scissors was afraid of getting cancelled or something. Unfinished pile of crap. AI is non-existent, bugs galore, it's like a crappy fan remake of Postal 2. The Postal game series as a whole started to lose its reputation after Postal 3 was released. Similarly to Postal 4, it got major amounts of negative reviews and even the developers had something to say. With Postal 3 DRM's issues and overall shittiness of the game itself, the game is officially no longer being sold on Steam. We don't have control over the page so we can't make it free before the DRM issue began. At least people will no longer buy the trash. So even the developers themselves have agreed that the game flopped. They also made comments on the issues with Postal 4. If you're reading this, then we really would like to say thank you. For those of you that have sent kind words of support to those that have vented their disappointment with aspects of the game, we're grateful to have a passionate fan base that has stood by us. We've made a lot of mistakes during P4's development and are still committed to making it right. Many of you may have noticed the big 20th anniversary update for Postal 2 the other week and the release of Postal 4 onto PlayStation a few weeks before that. This absolutely does not mean that the work on Postal 4 has ended. Far from it. We've been breathing away in the background to continue to see through our vision with the game. We are working to prepare a new update for PC, which will also hit the PlayStation consoles too at a later date. On that note, if you are the pre-ordering type, you can order a physical copy of Postal 4 for PlayStation by Limited Run Games via Amazon here. And now we'd like to talk about what we've been focusing on since the last update and what we'll be focusing on in the future as part of our roadmap. Please note that not all of these features will come in the next update, but will roll out over the next few months and beyond. Some of the errands can be underwhelming and anticlimactic, while others are okay, but are just short of being great, so we're picking away at making things more interesting across the entire game. From this, we can see that they have recognised that people are upset with the game and also look to improve it. The game itself came out of early access too early in my opinion. The team at Running With Scissors worked hard on this game, but it just wasn't what the fans expected. I played Postal 2 and very much enjoyed the game. Yes, it was crossing lines with certain aspects of the game, but that is what made it stand out from the crowd. And a few lines were crossed. <coughs> but it was a fun game. It didn't take itself too seriously, and it was fun to play. Do I think the Postal 4 is terrible? Yes. Would I recommend it to anyone? No. But the company's success with Postal 2 deserves some appreciation because it was prepared to cross lines other games wouldn't. You told your lies, your brother died, and still you think of it. It's such a shit. Yes, the game itself sucks. And we all can see that it does. They tried to make it better than Postal 2, but they copied a lot of the same stuff from the previous game. To put it into a way to make more sense, what they did wrong was keep the cake the same but change the recipe. Whereas a game like GTA 5 have similar mechanics but always added something new and interesting. I'm not trying to compare the two games because they are nowhere near the same field of game. 
but is the point of expressing the difference between a game that works and didn't. Does that mean that Running With Scissors has killed their company with this game? No, because this gives them an idea on what not to do in the future, and overall I think they can bounce back from this, and with a brand new game that blows all of us out of the water. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more content. I also stream on Twitch. You can find it in the link in the description. Got another game you want to see me play slash review? Leave it in the comments and I'll see you soon.